How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is episode 20 of a Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map The Valley of the Old Farm. In the last episode, we dealt with all aspects of the products that are produced by the cows. So we dealt with the slurry, we dealt with manure, we dealt with the milk. So with the slurry we ended up using the slurry and digestate dryer to make fertilizer and there's quite a bit squirreled away over there so we're gonna have to figure out what to do with it at this point we also had dealt with the milk and what we did with that is we used the bottle milk factory to turn just our normal milk uh, into milk bottles increasing it its value almost threefold very nice and we also dealt with the manure which we used to fertilize our lands with and we also planted the barley field just on top of the hill. What do we got going on today? Well, you can see our sugar beets are ready. That's right. We've got to start figuring out what to do with the sugar beets. And I have kind of a, I, I think it's kind of a cool idea. I've never used everything in tandem like I'm going to try today so this will be a learning experience for everyone but I need little blue here because I need a tractor with not only a rear three-point link but with a front three-point link as well so I'm gonna go ahead and drive this up to the shop and I will cut us back in as soon as I get there we'll see you in a little bit all right so I'm getting here to the shop I'm just going to park right here. Perfect. And now I need to make a couple of purchases. I will go ahead and get those and cut us back in. And I uh, might have some explaining to do afterwards, but like I said, it, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So give me just a second. Okay. So this is what I got. I have to get those sugar beets out from the ground and I decided to go with this. These are a sugar beet topper as well as the actual harvesting mechanism and what this will do is it'll come through and cut the tops right off the the sugar beets and then afterwards this follows up behind and rips the sugar beets out from the ground and lays them down in a swath behind the tractor. Now, I've done this portion before, and normally what I do afterwards is I use the forage pickup header to just grab everything off the ground and go from there. But I'm going to try something different, and I'm actually kind of excited to see how it turns out. I'm not 100% sure though, so. We'll go ahead and pick these up. We'll at least get the harvesting portion done and then figure out what to do from there. So that's the chopper. That is the picker. And there we go. Perfect. So from here, I'm going to head back to the farm. Probably stop at the pig farm first. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I'll stop there first and then head to the main farm. We'll see you over there. Alright, I am here at the main, well not main farm, but the pig farm and I am gonna get going on this field here. So what I need to do, as you can see as I planted, just kinda missed a few things. So, let's lower this down, fire that up, lower this down, turn that on, and now I think, okay, I think that's what we want. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's just dropping everything in kind of a nice little neat swath right behind me. that back down and now let's 
So it's going to take a couple of passes here around the, you know, outer portion of the field just because we got all the fencing in. Don't want to have to I mean, I could potentially knock down the fencing, but if I don't have to, then I won't. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I really do like this process as opposed to some of the harvesters and the uh, even the, the pull behind harvesters that uh, are available to us. The harvesters seem extremely expensive and when you get them they don't hold a lot of product so because sugar beets and potatoes are such high yielding crops it just takes forever ever because you're constantly having to unload the machine and get it you know kind of in this kind of cat and mouse battle between you and your you know chasing trailer kind of thing so it's just I like this because it allows you to just kind of make the passes necessary to get the job done but at the same time you know be able to oh hey I missed all that. That's not good. Anyways, you get to, to do everything to kind of get the job done. And then you just have to worry about how you're going to come back and pick up the product. So it's kind of nice in that regard that you don't have to do a whole ton of worrying about, you know, expensive, you know, mega machines or uh, unloading a bunch of trailers and whatnot. I mean, I guess this is going to be a slightly different way to do things, but, I mean, in the end, I think it's going to work out nicely. At least, in my head, that's how I've got it worked out. I could be just dramatically wrong. I hope that's not the case. But we will uh, we'll learn together and see how this works. No, 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 don't back up into that. Don't destroy crops. So let's see how this is looking so far. long as we see purple and not leaving a whole ton of orange or anything like that then we should be good Alright, well, I think at this point I'll go ahead and cut us out and cut us back in as soon as this field's all done. We'll see you in a while. Alright, so as you can see, I finished up this field, but unfortunately had some, uh, some issues all along the way. Couldn't get the AI worker to help me out whatsoever. It was rather frustrating, but it's okay. I just went ahead and powered through this field all by my all by my onesie and yeah just uh got to uh gotta do what i could gotta do what i gotta do i mean it's done and it looks good i'm actually really happy with that but i think i think it's time to make an upgrade around the farm and I think it's time to get lit rid of the little red tractor. It has been an amazing little tractor. It has done everything that I could possibly need it to do, but 
I'm to the point to where I almost never use it because it either lacks the power or lacks the necessary components to be able to function the way that I need it to. So I've got a lead on a potential nice new tractor, well, I should say new to me. Um, I'm going to go check it out real quick. I'm actually going to leave this stuff right over here. I need to put away all that equipment there for the big case. But I'm going to leave all this right there and right there. Perfect. And then what I'm hoping... So I can just go ahead and park this right there. Perfect. <sighs> it has been quite a ride with this particular uh, tractor here. I got to admit that I'm actually a little bit sad to see it go. This little Massey has been here from the beginning. But in the end, when everything's said and done, this is going to be a really kind of a big update and upgrade for me. Whoa, what am I doing? So let's just put this down right there. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look out, chicken. Don't get hit by the... Uh, by the front end loader. Just don't don't get taken out by the crazy tractor driver man. Just no, not not good, not good at all. Okay, so I'm gonna run up to where I saw this uh, particular tractor hiding at. Actually, I'm gonna go and sell this first. That's uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go sell this, and then I'm going to go find the uh, the address that I have. So I was I was going around the field there, and I ended up stopping, looking up a few uh, you know tractors that were for sale in the local area, and I think I found one. So I'm going to go ahead and hunt it down, and kind of go from there. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, so I made it here to the shop. Just going to pull around the side here and sell the tractor. So let's go here. It's what, right here? There it is. So not going to make a ton of money. Let's see. All right, well, got it up to 45000 That's not too bad. And there it goes. Signed, sealed, and delivered. It's gone. Really, really sad about this. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to work out for the best because it's, it's time to get something with a little bit more power, a little bit more, just a little bit more everything, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and head down to where the tractor is being sold. I will meet you down there in a little bit. All right, and here it is little case it's gonna work out just fine not even just fine let me take that back this thing is gonna work out perfectly it's four-wheel drive so not gonna have to worry about any of the issues I was experiencing with the little uh, Massey there it is a front loader uh, with the attachment for the same one that I had before it's got a front three-point link a rear three-point link this thing is going to be splendid I am so excited about this let's go ahead and hop in I went ahead and bought it after speaking to the farmer it's uh, yeah it works perfectly so I'm really happy about this so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this home with me and put it to put it to work right away we're gonna hook up to the uh, sugar beet harvester that I have there and be able to just kind of go to town Oh man, this thing drives amazingly. Holy cow. Inside looks really good too. They kept really good care of it.
awesome. Well, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the farm and uh, start getting to work. Hopefully, I'll be able to just turn the worker loose and just let them go to town. So, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see you in a little while. Alright, I'm back here at the farm. I'm going to go and hook up to the front mower and rear... Uh, well, I'll just call it a harvester because I can't think of uh, what it may otherwise be known as. So let's go ahead and hook up to these two things. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now... get to the entrance of the field and hopefully this will work out the way I intend it to work so let's keep our fingers crossed and see how this goes okay So, so far so good, getting to the end of this corner. Now what I'm hoping, okay, got all the way to the edge of the corner. Oh, but it says it's done. Well, let's uh, try this way then. Let the second time be a charm. Oh, see? Just doesn't seem to want to work like I expect it to. But I will say it is. Okay, hold on. This is progress. So I wasn't even doing this before, so that's actually really nice. It's continuing on. Before it just kind of parked me right in the middle of some of the other uh, sugar beets, rather than actually allowing me to uh, continue where I'd left off. So this, uh, although not perfect, is not the worst thing in the world. But I think I'll actually prevent them from continuing to do this because they're just doing like the most inner portion of the field and leaving it the rest for me to deal with. So I think what I'm going to do here is, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the worker. That's fine. Thankfully, I have narrow tires on this thing, so I'm not worried about, you know, cutting anything off or running things over and destroying them. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue along this route. If I can remember what button combination to push. There we go. And just, uh, yeah, got to keep working this on my own. It is what it is. Thankfully, it's not a huge field or nothing, but, you know, got to do what I got to do. We'll see you all in a little while. I do like this tractor, though. This thing is working perfectly. Very nice. Alright, like I said, I will uh, meet 
to you uh, back here in a little while. Cause then uh, after we're done with this, we gotta pick up and harvest. Uh, we're harvesting now. We just gotta pick them up. So I'm staying a little while. I am just clearing up the last little bit of sugar beets left. Should be right there. There it is. And now it is done. Look at that. Got two fields full of sugar beets. They're all just 100% good to go. I am really happy with this set of equipment. Let's go ahead and tuck this away. 
Oh, you know what? This is specialty equipment. Should I... Is this more like generic kind of stuff here, I think? You know what? That's what I'm going to do. This little shed right outside here. Right here. It'll be perfect. That there. There we go. Alright. Now I need to go back to the shop and pick up a uh, way to pick all this stuff up. So we'll see you over there in a little bit. Alright, so I am approaching the shop here and something just occurred to me. And I will show you what I was originally going to do uh, once I stop here. So... What I was going to do is kind of atypical of my my usual, and that is this. Under beet technology, you slide over to, nope, not under beet, under potato. I was going to get this. I was going to get this specific set of equipment, and what you can do is hook up a uh, swivel axle trailer. This whole kind of staircase here swings out uh, towards that actual pin hitch that just uh, you know pops out right there and what happens is it just picks it up off the ground the sugar beets and potatoes it also works for as well it's only five thousand um, dollars but then it just picks it up and dumps it into a trailer now the problem is the uh, I would need two separate trailers I would need the trailer that I would have for that specific pickup, but then I would also have to have another trailer for cutting up the sugar beets. So I kind of got to thinking about it, and the trailer I was going to do was, let's see if I can find it, <clears throat> this one, the Beat Ninja. And the reason I'm going to do this one is it works like a normal trailer does, but it also has a cutter head in it. So you can pass your sugar beets through the head and go from there. But I'm also just going to pick this up. Now that means I'm going to go into a little bit of debt because I only have $100,000 left. This is going to be more than $100,000. So the other reason I'm thinking about doing it this way as opposed to the other way, um, so one, it avoids having two trailers plus the pickup truck trailer and all that stuff that that just didn't make sense once i actually thought it over but uh this also allows me to open up the possibility of getting straw off of fields that are for contracts so i don't know it's just i think this will be a better option for me so i think this is what i'm going to do so let's go ahead and get this and I do need to borrow some money let's go we'll go with a hundred thousand it'll be way more than enough but there it is beat ninja there there we go so now this ought to work out just fine I won't have to sit here and fight with uh, different sets of equipment having you know potentially three actual trailers to kind of go back and forth with and this is backwards okay well let's kind of do this here There we go. So now I can just take this whole setup and be good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the other farm, the pig farm, and I'm going to start picking up some sugar beets. See you over there in a little while. Alright, I'm here at the pig farm. Let's go ahead and pull in. 
unfold the uh, header on this. Or the pipe, I should say. Let's lower. Turn on. And there we go. I'm rather curious of what I'm going to get off of this field because this is a relatively small field. It's not huge. But we'll see. We'll see how this all works out. just about full so so far I mean 30,000 liters and only just a couple of passes here I'm really really curious in what we're gonna end up with Perfect. So now I'm going to take this all the way bound, uh, bound down to the oil refinery or to the refinery itself. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Heavy trailers means light front ends. Holy smokes. All right, take this down to the refinery. I'm going to cut this right on the spot. That should be 30,000 liters of cut sugar beets into the refinery. Once that happens, then I can... Well... You know what? I think I'm not going to turn on the process right away until everything's delivered because I'm rather curious in just how much is going to be there. And rather than kind of keep it all in my head as to how many trailer loads and stuff I brought down there and times that by 30,000 I'll just let the I'll let the game do the work for me why not so let's see what this tells me The front end of this tractor is definitely squirrely with the big uh, trailer load of goods in it like this one is. I'm actually rather shocked. Well, I shouldn't say I'm shocked, but I wasn't expecting it to be this squirrely. That's alright though. So up here is the refinery. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I believe... No. Alright, you know what? I need the... Need the help window. Um, oh. Cutter. Goes. All 
and now it's taking all the sugar beets in this particular trailer and it's making them into cut sugar beets. This trailer is such a time saver. It's so awesome, especially if you're doing cut sugar beets. So while that's loading, let's actually go ahead and turn that off. But while that's loading, I want to take a look. Oh, well, first, check that out. 11,000 liters of fertilizer. That could be a pretty penny, actually. Oh, and we have a bunch of bottle milk, too. Hmm. Well, we don't have anything else going, so... Wait a minute. Oh, the pipe was full. Okay. That makes sense. All right, so... While I'm, while I'm up here... Actually, no, I'm sorry. I was I'm getting distracted. So, yeah, 30,000 liters of sugar beet, and sugar beet will make... Oops. No, what's this one down here? Uh, sugar beet cut. Make 90 liters of diesel, 4 liters of methane, 350 liters of uh, compost, and 150 liters of pig food. So this is going to produce quite a bit of product. I'm actually really looking forward to this. But let's go ahead and back this up. Come right here. Let's just go ahead and fill up. I'll take this over to McFadden Farms because he's pretty much the only one who will be able to accept it. But this should get me a nice little penny. At least I hope. There we go. Alright. Go over to McFadden Farms and sell this real quick. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I'm here at McFadden Farms, just kind of pulling around through for a good run at the, oop, for a good run at, the, oh no, um, hmm, well, that's a problem, well, I guess what we'll have to do is that. go. That works out nicely. Alright, now let's go pick up some more sugar beet and just keep the process going. We'll see you over there. Alright, I'm back over here. Let's uh, get to loading. Oh, got to unfold the pipe. Next load is complete. Now I just need to go and cut at the refinery. I'll see you over there. All right, getting ready to approach the uh, refinery again. Trip number two. This will be 60,000 liters. I'll cut sugar beet. goes and it's just loading it in there I'm really excited for what this is going to churn out because what I might end up doing again is turning both of these on as well and just convert everything in electricity because for every what was it four yes yeah, so for every thousand liters I get four methane and I can then turn it into 20, each methane into 25, so that's 100 electricity, just from one cycle of the recipe. Then, same thing here, 
I take 10 diesels and bank them into 25 electricity. So I'm still getting a positive influx, just not as much as like either one of these. So I'm kind of kicking around that idea. There we go. Helps if I lift up the uh, forage harvester. All right, so from here, just gonna run back to the uh, pig farm. Hopefully be able to finish up. We'll see in a little bit. All right, gonna continue picking stuff up. Oh, I hmm, left some in the uh, in the spout. Anyways, gonna go ahead and pick up some more. We'll see where this gets me. All right, we got one more trailer full, 90,000 total. We are easily, easily going to have over 100,000 liters off of this one field. That's just crazy. That many sugar beets off of one small field. Love it. Just love it. But now I'm going to go ahead and head over to the refinery again. We'll meet you over there. This is the last load for that uh, pig farm field, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And now, let's see where we stand. Upwards of 95, so like I said, it's over 100,000, which I'm actually rather shocked about. 100,000 liters of sugar beets in that one field is just blowing my mind, to be quite honest. <clears throat> that just shows how high a yield of product this truly is. Alright, there that is. 117,174 liters just in that one field. That's, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. I just can't get over that. All right, well, now, got to head to the main farm, pick up those. I mean, when everything's said and done, I'm going to have well over 200,000 liters. And I'll be able to just be cranking away, just watching that thing just go to town. It's it's going to be very nice when everything's said and done. But I will uh, go ahead and see you all when I'm uh, done over there. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are pulling up to the field right over here. Just got to squeeze by. Here we go. Let's lower that down, open the pipe. And... Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's see what this one does.
right, we just picked up the last little bit on the main farm field. Almost 15,000 liters, and then we will see where we finally end up between the two fields. I tell you what, I'm really excited because this is this has produced more than I ever thought I was going to get. This is crazy the amount that I got, which means that I'm going to have a ton of whoa, ton of product over at the refinery, which means ton of product over at the grain mill uh, even though now the grain mill is actually completely empty at this point but I'm producing so much pig feed so much uh, methane diesel all that stuff that when everything's said and done that grain mill is going to be up and running and capable of running for a very long time so I'm kind of excited uh, to see how that goes but I will go ahead and head over to the refinery and we will see what the final totals look like here in just a minute. Alright, we're approaching the refinery. Oh, I just cannot wait to see what the final totals are. Pull in here. Alright, here we go. Look at that, 214, 215, holy smokes, 221,000 liters, that's insane. So here, let's do this, that, that, and yeah, 221,650, that's, there we go let it go to town because it's going to just chug along and produce all sorts. Wow, that's just, yeah. And then it's going to take all the diesel, methane stuff. It's going to make a whole bunch of electricity. And you can see we're already storing quite a bit of electrical charge over there already. Uh, this is the grain mill or the flour mill, I believe is what's called the modernized flour mill. Yes, and it's already got what 12,000 liters of electric electrical charge, and it only takes six at a time per uh, per cycle. So I mean, that's that's nothing. That's that is literally nothing. Just a drop in the bucket. So we'll be able to run this for a good long time. We just got to build up some product. So, yeah, very, very nice. So from here, I need to go to the real estate office. Whoops, wrong. Real estate office because I am getting ready for the winter time. And unfortunately, with the winter time comes uh, uh, not a lot to do. But... Uh, I think I figured out what I could do to kind of, you know, make sure that I stay busy. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the Realtors uh, and make some land purchase. I will see you in a little while. Alright, just left the Realtors office and they had all the paperwork ready for me to sign. $35,000 and let me show you what I bought. I bought this. Farmland number 107, spent $35,000 on it. Now, what do I plan on doing with that? Well, let's go ahead and take a trip over there and check it out, because I think it'll work out rather nicely. Let's be very careful of their car, and nope. I tried to be careful. All right, so off in this direction so you can see right off in the distance the little white building up there just on the other side of the bridge that's the bottom oak factory we just installed that and behind the bottom oak factory is a uh, kind of a lane cutting through this property here to connect this kind of under uh, 
underpass right here. But what I was thinking... This is the property I just bought here. Pull off right here. I drove by here and saw this little kind of two lane track right here. And then all these trees and you got some real nice large growth trees. I think that if I cut some of these down, maybe leaving some of these kind of outer peripheral trees, I can extend that track going all the way down to this road over here. Now there is this kind of creek system here that I might have to fill in. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see how everything kind of works out, but if I can make a road that goes all the way down to here, well then we have two very nice new road networks that'll be very usable for, uh, you know, just getting places. Getting to this lower road down here can be a real nuisance and what I'm kind of thinking is that eventually I'd like to save up some extra money and buy this this little cow pasture right here would be a nice little holding pen for some beef cattle I think that'd be kind of a cool area to, to you know expand into but I need it to be kind of more easily accessible so we'll kind of see how that goes um, but it's uh, essentially what I'm going to be working on this winter is this here, clearing all this out and making some uh, making some roads. But I think that's actually a real good place to leave it off at because yeah, this has uh, been a extremely productive episode. We got a lot done here, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.